Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about BitTorrent. We talk about BTT a lot on this channel, so if you guys are not subscribed already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video before we get started. So, BitTorrent is on a rampage. We saw 11.75% increase in the last 24 hours. If we take a look at Tron, it's doing pretty much the same thing, a 13.81% increase in the last 24 hours. We see Tron and BitTorrent as very, very similar, similar uh, movements. If we take a look, obviously BitTorrent is on the Tron network. If we take a look at the last month, this is where you're going to see very, very similar movement. Obviously, Tron up 9%, and unfortunately, BitTorrent is down 23% because it came off of a very, very high, uh, you know, all-time high of that one point. I guess 1.4, um, I guess about right, right around 1.4 cents as an all-time high. But if we look at these month to month, uh, they're very similar on when they go up, when they go down. Um, and because of that, they are going to have a lot of correlation when it comes to the news as well. So we will be talking about a little bit about kind of Tron's news as well as BitTorrent's news because BitTorrent doesn't have a ton of news. So Tron does have a few different little articles and information that has come out, uh, and I do think that is really impacting BitTorrent's price as well. So let's take a look in the last 24 hours, obviously, of just BitTorrent. So 11.75% increase. We saw it increase from this 0 0.0072. We saw it go up to that 0 0.0083, and then we saw it kind of decrease back down to this 0 0.0079. I do think we are kind of on a downward spiral. Hopefully, we find a good stabilization or at least start to uptrend yet again after this, uh, you know, maybe goes down to 0 0.0077 or so. I do think we will start to maybe see an uptrend again or maybe a stabilization at the best i do hope that we don't just come right back down to our previous stabilization at that point zero zero seven two uh so any increase in BitTorrent is good because we haven't seen much movement besides obviously negative movement in the past so if we take a look at the last month you can see that we've been on a downward trend for quite some time we did see one pump here to about you know a penny and a little bit over a penny, I'll say. Uh, then we kind of dipped back down, obviously saw a massive dip in the market. Um, and then we saw a recovery, which was great. But now we see, you know, obviously still a downtrend, really making our way all the way to about 0 0.0064. So if we could see, uh, you know, in this last 24 hours, this really stabilized around this increase, that'd be fantastic for a lot of BTT holders as we would see some promise in our futures. If we take a look now at some of the most recent tweets for BitTorrent and Tron, we see BTT ranked as top three trending tokens in Asia on coin market cap. So this is a big deal obviously seeing btt really starting to trend out and about on in asia um you know over the past seven days that's going to show you know more holders more investors more people interested in what btt has to offer and i think a lot more investors will continue to roll in if we go to the next one we see soon we will be welcomed uh, to a new project of tron century mining once launched it will have its own mining pool and users will be able to earn project tokens in addition to tron century mining five and one tron token gift pack so this is a big deal as we continue to see obviously more and new projects come to Tron itself that is going to benefit BitTorrent as we continue to see uh, Justin Sun, obviously the founder of Tron Foundation and the BitTorrent itself. So seeing next, we see Tron is excited to announce the upcoming launch of Tron Apollo interconnecting blockchain. So this is a little older, April 30th, but do remember guys, this is still happening. A lot of people still speculating what this could all mean for us. So Tron's official cross-chain scaling solution enabling data and asset transfer across multiple chains with security and openness and unlimited scalability. Next, we have on the list tron will become the first DeFi blockchain protocol to support dogecoin if you guys don't have dogecoin that's perfectly fine but you can deposit and trade dogecoin with usdt and earn interest on just swap.org or and just lend.org doge on trx swap will be supported by polynex we've talked about polynex quite a bit on this channel as well because polynex is a part of what tron is so let's take a look now we have polynex has over 500 million dogecoin 330 uh, i guess 333 million dollars today it is good enough for everyone to trade and swap doge on polynex enjoy so this is a big deal obviously we continue to see uh tron really take up that uh, idea of you know really trying to make everyone happy is exactly what they're doing and i think BitTorrent is uh, doing a very a fairly good way of uh just kind of holding on to what tron has uh right now they're just kind of throwing out what tron has done in the past uh for pretty much all of their mo most recent news and information so we just continue to see on BitTorrent buy the dips and hold we see down here something like hold and wait hold and wait a bunch of different kind of hold hold your um btt and wait and i think that's because we are going to be waiting uh, just speculating here i think that's because we are going to be waiting a few months before we see anything massive so if you are looking for major short-term increases you still may be in the right spot because we don't know exactly how long it is from some of these like btfs and uh you know d live integrations we don't know how long 
you know, until that stuff comes out. But if you guys don't know, BitTorrent has 200 million wallets, over 2 billion users, and 100 million MAUs. So we continue to see BitTorrent protocol used by Netflix, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Lionsgate, and DLive. That is massive. If you guys don't understand, obviously these companies companies are huge. So if we can continue to see BitTorrent move in this direction of being used by those type of deals, uh, I guess by those type of people, that is going to be huge for us. So we also go to their products. So this includes BitTorrent Web, BitTorrent Classic, BitTorrent Android, BitTorrent Token, BitTorrent Speed, BitTorrent File System, DLive, and DLive Protocol. So we've talked about these as well in the past. BitTorrent File System obviously being a decentralized file system. Uh, we talked about how you know centralized file systems never are as good as they are controlled by a single entity. Um, just really not what we really want in a file system. So DLive is uh, a perfect idea of what they're trying to integrate into. Um, you know, really trying to get into more marketplace. I guess more um, really divisions, more different categories. They're really trying to push BitTorrent into different areas of the uh, cryptoverse. And we're starting to see that more and more as we see BitTorrent Web, BitTorrent Classic, BitTorrent Android, as well as BitTorrent Token and BitTorrent Speed. Just a lot of different uh, a lot of different uh, products out there for us with BitTorrent right now. And I think, you know, it just takes one of these to get some big updates, some big news on them. And we are going to see some, you know, BitTorrent rises in the very, very near future. Uh, so I thought this was interesting to take a look at, but we will jump right back into the BitTorrent uh, price chart here. Let's give it a quick refresh, see where we're at. So we are still decreasing a little bit, 0 0.0078. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, we haven't decreased all the way back down. I do think if we can at least hold a little bit of this increase, we are still looking very positive because usually when we hold an increase, for the most part, you know, BitTorrent likes to do this sideways trend. If we continue to see a sideways trend, we will hopefully see an uptrend here in the future because of all of the updates and uh, really the things they're working on. If we can start to get some of those updates instead of just Tron updates, uh, BitTorrent would start pumping as well. But we do see, like I said, Tron and BitTorrent kind of working together, kind of moving in the same direction as well. So I do think BitTorrent's going to have a bright May, uh, you know, May, June in 2021. So we, we we will be doing those price predictions uh, here in just a second. Do remember, guys, I am not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing. A great way to do that is jumping on the official website and taking a look at BitTorrent Token itself and seeing all of these use cases, as well as, you know, obviously, um, you know, all the exchanges it's on. Everything about it is just so big, and I think everyone should actually take a look themselves and understand what they're investing in before investing. So jumping in to the BitTorrent price predictions, we have first off May. Obviously, May is going to be a big, uh, a big month for us. I think May is going going to continue to see some growth for BitTorrent. I'm hoping to see us just really reach over one penny again. I think that's definitely uh, a conservative price prediction because BitTorrent could do much more. But, you know, that is, I guess, going with the idea that we don't get any big news or information from BitTorrent. If we could still reach over one penny without any big information or news, I would say that BitTorrent is going to see a I mean, just a heck of a year in 2021. So one penny is our price target for the end of May. Do remember, guys, I try to keep my price predictions as conservative, realistic, and as honest as possible with you guys. No 100Xs out of the blue here. Uh, so by the end of June, where we see BitTorrent, I do think we could reach for our previous all-time high. By this point, I would hope that we have started to see some new information or news coming about, and I hope that we could reach above that 0 0.0143. I think about a you know one and a half cent is definitely a price target for us by the end of June. Going into the end of 2021, I think we will continue to see some increases. Um, obviously, it does depend, right? Like I said, up on BitTorrent speed, BTFS uh, file system itself, the DLive integrations, as well as so much else that the you know BitTorrent token is actually really utilizing right now. Uh, the utility behind BitTorrent is insane, and because of that, I think it's definitely possible that we see it right around three to four cents, two to four cents area. Uh, it's definitely something I can see uh, happening. You know, with with the increases that we've saw in the past, I, I just think we are going to get back to that as we get more information and more people investing. Like we saw it starting to trend in Asia. If we can continue to see more investors and at least more interest in BitTorrent, we will continue to see this price increase. Also, it's a very, um, I will say, it's a very, uh, what am I trying to think here? A lot of people that are new to the cryptoverse, I'll just say this, a lot of people that are new to the cryptoverse look for coins under one penny because they think that's the easiest way to make a million dollars. So what they might be doing, all these new people coming to BitTorrent, if they see BitTorrent below a penny, they see all the stuff it's doing, I do think it's going to be very, um, I can't find the exact word I'm looking for, uh, very catchy. I'm not it's not the word I'm looking for, but it's going to be very out there and a lot of people are going to grab it as soon as possible. So, um, you know, BitTorrent is going to be one of those coins, like I said, that's going to do very, very well. So 
thank you guys so much for stopping by. We've done our price predictions for May, June, and 2021. Uh, there's a lot going on with BitTorrent. It's a great coin to follow if you guys aren't following, or at least uh, you know don't have any BitTorrent. That's perfectly fine. Just add it to your wait list, watch list, and uh, you know wait for a time for it to dip. You know every coin does dip at some point, and if BitTorrent dips down again, you will have it a great opportunity to find a good entry point. Um, you know you never really want to buy a green candle, and if you bought the green candle here, obviously you'll find that out the hard way because if you're at that point zero zero eight three, you've already lost a little bit of money. Um, but you know for a while. We were, we were stabilized out. You just got to find these coins while they're either stabilized or dipping down. Uh, try not to buy the inc uh, increases. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.